Okay, today I'm going to show you how to create an automated test script with the Selenium framework. I'm going to be coding this in PHP, but Selenium supports a ton of languages, so you can just pick whichever one you're most comfortable with. If you don't know a coding language, that's fine. I'm going to teach you how to do everything you need to know in this video. Uh, before we get started, just to let you know, I am running Linux, Ubuntu 18.04. My desktop does look like a Mac, but it's just because I'm running a GNOME extension. Um, but as a disclaimer, Selenium works for Windows, Mac OS, Linux. Um, so there's several tutori tutorials out there, excuse me. Uh, but this one will be strictly for Linux, just, uh, just as a heads up. So uh, we want to start by opening the terminal. And we're going to create a new directory called Selenium. And we'll navigate into that directory. Next, we need to download the latest Selenium server. And I'm going to copy and paste that in here, and all of them will be in the description, so don't worry about trying to find the text and, and put it in yourself. Okay, the next step is to get some PHP extensions, so again, I'm just going to copy and paste directly into my terminal. And I'm going to hit enter. It's going to ask me for my password. Okay, now we need to install Composer, and that's going to be two commands, sudo apt update. It's going to run. All right, and then we're also going to do sudo apt install composer y. The next step is to tell composer that it needs to require the web driver, and we're going to get that from Facebook. So um, I'm going to type that in. And if you don't have Java installed, I already do, um, but if you don't have it, go ahead and install it now. I'll include that in the, in the description as well. I'm just typing it uh, for example. Okay, so now we need to get the latest Chrome driver, and we're going to go to Google for that. So go ahead and go to Chrome, and it's, we're going to go to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash chrome driver dot chromium dot org forward slash downloads uh, I've already gone to it so I'm just going to click the link here um, but as you can see there are specific uh, chrome drivers for different releases of chrome so we're going to go ahead and, and check and see which release I have go down to help about google chrome and you can see that I'm on version 74 so we're going to click the one that corresponds and of course we're downloading the zip file for Linux. So we want to open the file and extract it. Uh, we'll extract it just to our downloads by default. Alright, and we're going to take where we are and we're going to open it in terminal. So this will put us in the downloads folder. Uh, now we're going to move that to our bin folder, uh, user bin folder actually, and uh, don't forget to include this period after uh, the last forward slash. It's going to ask for my password and we're good to go. So I'm going to close out all these tabs now and get back to um, just our original terminal where we are located in the Selenium folder. Okay, now I want to make a new text file and it's going to be a PHP so we're going to say vim uh, demo test.php. That's going to put us in a little text editor. Um, to type inside of this text editor, you need to hit I, and then in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see insert. And then when you're ready to um, exit it and get back to your terminal, you're going to want to hit the escape button, and then you're going to hit colon WQ. So that's save and quit. And then you hit enter, and then you're out of there. Uh, this code will be in the description. It's just a bit of skeleton code getting things set up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and skip forward. Okay, so next we're going to need some extensions from Chrome. So let's go ahead and open Chrome and navigate to a new window. Uh, top right, go to More Tools, Extensions. 
and you can see that I already have the extensions required so that one and that one both need to be included if you're using PHP if not you can just use Selenium IDE and that should do the job for you so go ahead and open your Catalan extension if you're using a different language use the Selenium IDE and create a new test I'm calling it test and I hit record. So everything after this, all of these actions will be recorded by the extension. So I'm going to the company website, opening it. I'm going to give it a second to load so it records all my actions. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the Contact Us page. Alright, it looks like that's loaded. So I'm going to go ahead and stop. And now we want to export our code. Now it gives you the option to select language. I'm going to select PHP, which is only available because of the extensions I used. Um, you can select whatever language you're using. Um, all this code is is uh, unneeded. It's unnecessary. We we built all that in the skeleton code. Um, all you need is is this test function right here. So I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to go back over to our um, file vim demo test.php, and then I'll paste it in there. So those are our actions and they're going to need a little bit of cleaning up just to make them look um, more presentable so that uh, you know others can read your code. So this first one we know it is the search for the Tech Genies page. So I'm going to give it the comment there. And if you notice it has the um, variable set to this and the one we're using is driver. So as long as we just replace that driver and put it equal to that driver all the all the functions should work just fine. Okay, our second one was to click on the appropriate link from the Google search. So I'm going to make that comment. And again, we're going to change the variable to driver. Lastly, after the page is loaded, we wanted to click the contact us page. So I'm going to update that as well. Actually, instead of click, I think I'm going to say navigate. It's probably more um, accurate. And again, changing the variable from this to just driver. All right, we're good. We're going to save and exit out of that. So now that we're done, we're ready to run it. I hit ls and I'm going to show all my files and the Selenium standalone server is what we want to run uh, in order to uh, get our automated test up and running in our own server. Um, oh, it looks like I used var instead of jar. Alright, so I'm going to run it and you can see it says our Selenium server is up and running on port 4444 which we um, set in our code. So we want to open a new instance of terminal, navigate back into our um, Selenium directory, and we're going to run our PHP file. Hit enter, and it's automatically going to open Google, maximize the window, search for Tech Genies, hit the correct link, navigate to the Contact Us page, and it should close immediately after. So it's a simple example, but it is an automated test using Selenium, so I hope this helped.